I'm a Latina. Do you feel like you're in a minority among Latinas? Absolutely. But does it deter you from supporting uh, what you think are the right policies? No, it doesn't. Why not? Well, I'm an American, but I'm also from a Mexican heritage. And my family came here legally. It was hard for them. They struggled. They had to give up a lot for it. And so that's why I like immigration reform and securing our borders, because I feel like it's the most fair thing. Um, it also keeps us safe. I feel like we're in the most safe country, but I want to keep it that way. And um, What do you think about these uh, accusations of racism? About Trump being racist? Yeah. Um, I just really don't agree with it. I never thought that he said that all Mexicans were, ra were rapists. He was just talking about um, wanting to keep it more secure and talking about that any bad guy can just kind of walk over. Like, we want to be able to um, keep it so that we could bring in the, the families that need to come and want to come and want to work and love our country and keep out the bad guys. Are you in favor of a wall? I am in favor of a wall. Even if Americans had to pay for it, would it be worthwhile? I think eventually, uh, yeah, it would. A worthwhile investment? Yeah, I think it costs a lot more. Um, all in all, to have refugees or to have illegal immigrants than it is to build the wall. But what what costs do uh, illegal immigrants uh, cost American taxpayers? I'm sorry? What, what costs do American taxpayers have to bear for illegals who come here? Um, some of them are able to get on welfare, like here in California, you can get um, a driver's license, and with that you could do a lot with that, so. Do we treat them in the emergency room? Yes, we do. We take their kids into school? Yes, we do. <laughs> do we, we give them food stamps? Yes, we do. A lot of those things. And are you the only uh, Hispanic American who feels this way? No, I'm not. I have a lot of family and friends who feel the same way. Uh, is that point of view represented on television, radio, and in the newspapers? No, I don't think it is at all. I don't think it's represented that way at all. Even in the the Spanish language uh, press? That's correct. Yeah, why not? Um, I honestly think that Hillary Clinton's campaign did a really good job with um, making Trump out to be a racist. You know, when you say things a million times, people start to believe it. They don't actually look into it. But the, the journalists themselves have a responsibility towards objectivity, don't they? Yeah, but I think that a lot of journalists are more um, opinion columnists than journalists. They, they, they make a lot of biased statements, things that really aren't true. And I think that affects uh, the way that the Latino community see the actual facts and see view Trump in general. Which networks would you say you feel are uh, biased against uh, this administration? Well, like here in Los Angeles, California, a lot of the um, regular channels, like just the regular ABC, Channel 5, and then also, of course, CNN. Um, I think they've been really bad. So. Univision? I'm sorry? Univision? Uh, yeah, them too. <laughs> do, do you watch Spanish language media? I do with my grandma a lot of the time. So, um, so yeah. Telemundo? I do with my grandma as well. Are they biased? I believe so. They they make it more of um, a negative thing whenever they show Trump supporters instead of a positive. So they don't they don't really. Um, there was one. Uh, I went to a rally in uh, West Hollywood before the elections, and it was a really good rally. There was a lot of diverse people. There was Hispanics. There was gays. There was black people. There was women. There's men. Um, it was very diverse and. When I saw Telemundo's actual um, report on it, they only showed, we, we didn't have anyone coming and arguing. We had one guy who walked by and like screamed something.